Hey there! Today I'll show you how to set up and host your very own dedicated Rust server so you can dominate the wastelands with your friends 24-7. Let's get to it! To get that game server running, we need to have Rust installed and a VPS that will host your game. Since you probably already have Rust installed in your computer, let me show you how to get and set up the VPS. Okay, so first, you'll need to purchase a game server hosting plan. To do so, go to this landing page or click the link in the description. Then, choose a plan that suits you best. The more RAM and CPU your server has, the smoother it will run. So choose a higher tier plan if you're thinking to have a large player base connect to your server. Keep in mind though, you'll need at least 8 gigs of RAM for Rust to run properly. So, let's go with the Game Panel 2 plan and let's choose the 24 month period for the best price. Now, create your hosting account by entering your email here or just connect to your Google account. Then select a payment method, fill in the required details and use our coupon code GP10 for a 10% off your purchase. Now, once your payment is confirmed, you'll need to complete the initial onboarding process. Start by choosing the server location with the best latency. The lower, the better. After that, create your panel password and make sure it's a strong one. Now, just finish the onboarding by reviewing your server information. Double check if everything is right and then click finish setup. And once our server prep is finished, we can enter HPanel. From here, we can manage our server's backend and set up the actual Rust server. As a hosting your client, you get GamePanel, which is the main console for managing your Rust server. Lucky for us, it's super easy to use, so don't you worry if you have no experience with VPS. So, first, access the game panel by going to your VPS dashboard from the HPanel. Then, select Operating System, and you'll see the login information over here. Just click the Manage Panel button to go to the login page. Now, enter the username as shown on the dashboard and the password that you've created. And that's it! We're in the game panel! Now, click this plus icon and choose Rust from the dropdown. Then, give it a name if you want, set how you want it to start after installing, and finish by clicking Create Instance. Once that is done, hit Manage to open your Rust service directory. Now, click the Configuration menu and select Rust. Here, you'll see a bunch of settings like your map, server name, and more. You'll also find the PvE toggle over here, which will disable all PvP combat if that's what you're into. So, feel free to customize anything you want, and once that is done, enter the console page to start the server. Don't worry if you see an error message that Rust is not installed. It will begin the installation from the backend. Then, you'll have to wait for a download, which should be done when you see this line. Click Start once again, and your status should be running. Now, copy your IP address from the status page and open Rust on your computer. Then, press F1 to turn on the console, insert client.connect and paste your IP address here to connect your Rust server. And that is it! Now your server is up and running, ready to be joined. But, you probably want to make yourself an admin in-game first, right? So, let me show you how it can do that. As an admin, you can run commands that are crucial for management, like banning or kicking players, teleporting, spawning items, or writing server-wide messages. It's worth noting though, that there are two main admin ranks, owner and moderator. The owner is the top tier admin with complete control for all admin commands, like promoting other players to admin or moderator roles. Meanwhile, a moderator can run admin commands, but can't give out admin rights to others. So, to add yourself to the admin group, go to the server console in the game panel and insert the owner ID command followed by your Steam ID and Steam nickname in quote marks. If you want to make someone else a moderator, you'll need to insert the moderator ID command followed by their Steam ID and Steam nickname in similar order. And now just finish by saving your server configuration with the right CFG command. This will make sure the server remembers the assigned roles once you restart the server. And that's all there is to it. Now you're a proud owner of a Rust server of your own. What kind of setup will you run for it? Please share in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this in the future. As always, thank you for watching and good luck in the wastelands.